Scorpio, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we are going to be pulling some messages that are going to help uncover any money blocks or love blocks you may be experiencing. If there is a certain amount of money or a specific person you have in mind and you'd like to manifest, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, right now is a beautiful time for you. You are in the process of transformation, transition. So whatever has recently happened has happened indefinitely for you. And it's really, really important to pay attention to what you've learned. Okay. And so, and attention to your dreams, because in the dream state, the universe is able to communicate with us because we are not thinking, right? We are in a relaxed state. And of course, my viewfinder is not working. So we will do this for you, right? So we want you to make an altar for yourself. Uh, have a space in your house, in your life. Maybe it's your car. Maybe it's outside. Maybe it's again in a room where you can sit with yourself and listen. The name of the game is to listen. You're listening to what your energy body, you're listening to what comes forward. You're listening. You're not connecting to thoughts. You're just listening. You're just there, right? And again, the other message here of dream journal. So paying attention to your dreams, understanding that dreams are very influential for us. There's always They always speak to us in metaphoric terms, right? So when something happens, that seems like if you are going through, say, uh, a series of nightmarish dreams, um, that is definitely definitely the inclination that transformation is happening. Nightmares are always to get our attention, as is big moments in life, big changes in life, things that are painful for us. It's to get our attention. It's not to hurt you or to traumatize you. It's to get our attention. So if something in your life isn't going the way that you want it to, beautiful soul, that means you got to reconnect to the higher part of you that creates the worlds that you want and you're not reacting to life. That's the thing, right? So that tower in reverse is meaning there needs to be some internal changes. Those internal changes come from connecting to a higher power, a higher source is that Hierophant card, right? So if your life is looking how you don't want it to, that means you got to reconnect to uh, spirit, right? But in, in other terms, you've got to stop thinking in order to receive what your heart actually wants, you see. If you're living in a logical state of being, it means that you're going to react. But what that looks like is this, this is the life that I have. This is my partner. This is my spouse. They're behaving like this. I can't change them. They're not changing. They're so stubborn. They're so, uh, you know, indulgent. They make me feel terrible. I should just leave them, right? It's a very negative way of looking. Instead of surrendering and saying, I'm here, I'm not planning on going anywhere. It's too, it's not, it's not in the cards to divorce or to move forward. This is where I am. So instead of looking at the worst case scenario, reconnect to that part of you that psychically understands where you're going, the trajectory you're headed, right? The trajectory you're headed, right? That comes from meditation. That comes from stillness because we can see here that great things are evolving for you. Manifestations of happiness, love, joy, financial increase. This is all happening for you right now in this current time and space. The only thing that is hindering you right now from being able to see this is the connection you have to your divine feminine and self, your higher power, your higher self, right? That's the only thing that's missing for you right now. And that means that meditation is very necessary. It's not even, it's not even recommended. It's, it's necessary, right? So there's three pillars that we really want you to focus on, right? And um, it's going to be the foods that you eat. It's going to be meditation and it's going to be exercise movement right? It doesn't mean exercise. You have to go and win a bunch of Olympic medals. It just means you've got to move your body to clear the energy. Walking, arm circles, jumping jacks, uh, burpees, right? Something. You've got to move your body. And the foods that we eat, we want you to start looking at food as a frequency. When you ingest something, how does it make you feel? Okay. It's really not about an emotional thing. Food is not meant to be emotional. We are an advanced system of AI technology. Okay. You want to look at it like that because what does a computer need, right? A computer needs to reboot meditation, a computer needs to be cleansed, right? Uh, exercise. And a computer needs to be uh, fed uh, uh, 
programs that are beneficial or software that keeps it clean, right? That would be the foods we eat, right? Same thing. We need those things, right? We need those things in order to operate at our fullest capacity. If we are not, if we are stuffing our computers full of viruses and going on websites we shouldn't and doing things that are just not good for the system, it's going to glitch, right? And when it glitches, it causes viruses, right? It's the same thing with us. We, If we're glitching, right, it means that we're going to be looking at the worst case scenario, the lowest time Line because we're glitching, our, our avatar is glitching. It means that we need to take care, better care of ourselves, eat better foods, meditate more, and, and exercise, right? And it's very simple. Life is meant to be simple, right? We want you to start to understand that if things are not going the way you want them to, that means growth is necessary, right? Not within your circuit, not within the outer world. I need you to change for me to be happy. If I get a better job, I'll be happy. I'll be happy when I make more money. I'll be happy when my spouse behaves differently. None of that beautiful soul, because then you're giving your power away and it's not relevant. Other people in your life are not relevant for you, to you. You have to live your life for you. You cannot let other influences create this feeling within yourself that it needs to change for you to be okay. No one's designed to behave in a way to make you feel okay. Your design, you're responsible for how you feel. People, other beings are responsible for how they feel. If they don't feel good in their life, then don't focus on them. Don't try to change them. Don't connect to them. All it's going to do is lower your frequency and you are going to feel exhausted, right? Same thing when it comes to our jobs. If you can't control the amount of money you're making right now, then focus on being in a happier state. The happier I am, the better things get. Your energetic frequency determines the amount of abundance that flows into your life, you see. And so we want you to really prioritize your happiness, your joy, right? That's the foundation, right? Are you meditating? Are you moving? And are you focusing on the foods that you eat consciously? That is step one. That is step one, because that's going to allow you to connect your higher self, be able for you to read your energy and be able for you to receive what you need to receive in order for you to transition and move forward. And if you're not used to doing these things, well, guess what? Then you're going to need to activate the courage within yourself, which you can, and you are, you are the epitome of courage. I want you to say that right now, Scorpio. I am courage. I am courage. I am trust. I am success. I am rich, right? We want you to say these words because remember, being an advanced computer system and AI technology, right? Whenever, whatever you think, whatever you talk about, whatever you speak about, that's what you attract in. But if you're focusing on all of the things in life that you do not like, well, this is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. No, you don't understand. This is wrong. That's an emotional response and that's you feeling unhappy with your life and we understand. But talking about it and speaking about it isn't going to get you the success. It isn't going to get you the expansion you're looking for. It isn't going to unlock those abundant those those abundance blocks. Abundance blocks, love or money becomes uncovered because what we focus upon upon expands. So we want you to merely start to focus on what you wish to expand in your life, love, abundance, and we got you need to start with those things for yourself, right? And the first step is clearing away any uh, blocks, any, uh, excuse me, any uh, glitches that may be hindering that, right? So you can re-invoke uh, re and, and feel that feeling of ambition towards your goals. So you will reach them because you will always reach them. It is your power. It is your control. This is your life, you see. But when we place our uh, energy in the hands of something or someone else, well, when this person behaves or when this job gets going or when I make money, then I'll be happy. Then we are literally saying, I will never feel happy. I just, I commit to my unhappiness because I am choosing to not be happy. I'm choosing to not make my, to not make choices that better myself. And that's why we say to you, if you are not able to see psychically the best case scenario, it's because your psychic channels are blocked. That's why. So that's why we meditate. That's why we eat foods that feel good for us. And that's why we exercise. Okay. This is going to be the foundation for yourself. There's no need to put an emotional spin to it. Oh, it's because this happened in my life. It's because I went through these childhood traumas. We've all gone through those. We don't want those to be our identity. We don't want to connect to those because again, that's how we're going to be making our decision. It's merely just a simple, uh, we got to look at it as simple as AI technology. I am a, uh, 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 I am a, um, an AI program. And in order for my program to operate, uh, at its highest capacity, I must meditate, 
eat good foods and exercise to feel cleansed and clear, to be able to tune in to the path and the guidance that I need to receive for me to make the best choices in my life. It's that simple, right? A lot of times we get caught up in the emotional response. They did this. They said this. I went through this in my life. I've hurt. We understand. But it has nothing to, if you focus on that, it's only going to hinder you, right? Don't justify why you are where you are. Instead, make the conscious decision to become uh, fully aligned with your highest power, you see? And remember that when you are really in an experience that doesn't, that feels extra challenging, you're fighting with your spouse, you're going through an uphill battle is what seems like. Uh, do understand that uh, there is always a reason for it. And speaking of reason for things, here we have the angel message today of new partner. So your angels are saying, a chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life, you will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. Now, don't let this go to your head here, Scorpio. Don't be thinking all logically about why, who, and what, and all these things. This is a feeling thing, right? Feel out why someone new may enter your life. Feel out this presence, right? Don't think about it feel it. And again, being used to, uh, by being used to access your feeling state is going to help with that. And that's why consistent daily practice, food, movement, meditation, very, very important. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was like share and subscribe, we truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.